Good morning. It is time for a Monday daily devotional. And I don't know about you, but Mondays always need a little extra devotional. Uh, even in this world of uh, staying at home, still a Monday. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually, so what I have been doing by choosing my scripture is using a thing called the Daily uh, daily Lectionary, and it gives me a choice of about six or seven different Bible passages every day, and it's been fun to read over those and to kind of see what struck me. And Saturday, there were actually two that really hit me. Um, I did the one on Saturday, and then today's is one of my favorite Bible passages. Part of which is because I'm a big fan of weddings, and this passage is read at, like, every wedding. I know everyone that I've done, it's been a part of. Um, let's see if, it, if you recognize it. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does, does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Yes, that is 1 Corinthians 13, verses 1 through 7. And if I kept reading, you would recognize those as well. The funny part about this uh, passage is, like I said, it's used in every, every single wedding. Um, I'm not even sure if it's a legal uh, or a real uh, marriage if that wasn't read. So some of you all may need to come and talk to me after this. <clears throat> but the funny part is this had nothing to do with that type of love. Uh, Paul was writing this because the church in Corinth was having a whole lot of problems where they weren't loving each other. Uh, here he is basically flat out saying that if you aren't loving each other, you are not the church. That is what he's talking about. Um, and it's, it's a good reminder. I love reading it at weddings. It really does sum up what love is more than just about anything, that love is not an emotion or even the butterflies in our stomach, but a true uh, uh, choice to devote lives to each other and to put each other first and know that there is no one uh, else that you would rather be with. And that's actually how we're supposed to be with the church. Uh, but what struck me in our current context is um, this also sums up while we're in the situation we're in. Uh, I There have been so many times that I've asked myself, why aren't people social distancing? Why are people still going out and why are people still meeting, even when they find it as important meetings? Um, why are friends still getting together to play? And I had to think, you know, why am I doing it? I would much rather be out having fun right now. I would rather be out in the sunshine. It's even sunny here in Kentucky. By the way, I'm coming home Sunday, so I'll, I'll be uh, very close to you all very soon. Um, but, uh, yeah. But what it comes down to is when we believe when we love our brothers and sisters in Christ the way we hear about in 1 Corinthians 13 uh, the choice of social distancing goes away uh, if I love the way that Paul tells me I should love I'm going to do everything in my power not to get sick and yes there is a very good chance if I got the coronavirus uh, I probably wouldn't get that sick. I probably wouldn't be one of the ones in the hospital. I have no respiratory issues. I'm a pretty healthy 40-something-year-old <clears throat> person. Uh, but I love you all. And many of you all uh, are of 
an age where things get a lot more dicey or who have health issues that could be a real problem. I love my parents enough to not see them. Um, I love, I try to love my neighbor, even those I don't know, the ones that are at the grocery store or at Costco or uh, just trying to get through and get what they need to survive. I want to love them enough through the love of Christ to not put them at risk. So today I make a choice to love people the way I am asked to, to sacrifice myself, uh, to make sure that I am not the cause of people getting sick. Um, I'm also hoping that my love for others will increase through this. And that's why I'm doing uh, devotions. That's why I'm doing Bible studies. It's why we are making sure we have worship on Sunday morning, even though it looks a lot different. It's because when we worship together, when we study the scriptures together, when we do devotions together, even if it's just online, we are growing in love for each other. Um, I would love to know how you guys are loving people. Um, if you ever want to leave a comment uh, or a question or anything for me, please do. I'd also love it if you are actually enjoying these devotions, uh, share them. Uh, share them on your Facebook post or uh, if you're not a Facebook person, if you're watching this online, uh, go to the website and uh, you can actually email the link to other people. You can even go to our uh, YouTube uh, website and um, subscribe to that and share it with people too. Because the chances are, if you're enjoying these, uh, people who you know might also. Um, so let's spread the love a little bit. Let's spread the word of God and let's spread uh, our journey together so we can, our community can grow larger. Well, let's pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this morning a Monday, uh, where we're not really probably trying to get ready for work too much to get out and get into the world, but another day where we're going to be staying at home. But Lord, we're doing that for love of our brothers and sisters. We're doing, we're staying home because we love our neighbor as ourselves. Remind us that when we get bored. Remind us that when our stir craziness makes us want to just get out and run around. Um, help us to choose love not just for ourselves, not just for uh, our family, but for all of your children. Lord, we thank you. Amen.